about to taste the border. And then this guy is just dead if it hits. Blam! Ooh, it's so satisfying. Hey dudes, good morning. So today we're going to be doing a tutorial on the different builds that are available for free to play players. I'm gonna show you how to manipulate your build a bit, how to play it, and also how to pick the right apostles. So let's just jump right into it. See, as you just jump into the game, you're already met with different builds with apostles accompanying them. So the apostles are seed apostles. Let's get to that first. And these are all the apostles that are available to you. It's one of each class. And you can re-roll these ones every single day. Now, this one I think I'm already good with. This one has one CC. This one does not have a CC. So the ones that I want to keep, I'm going to click and lock them. All right, let's re-roll everything. Reroll. Wow, that's a lot of rogues. Oh, but we got a guardian with a stun. Oh, the warrior is also an IV-71. Now let's look at all of the skill builds. So the skill builds are all different and can show just from the skill slots alone. Root Find Seed, Rock and Roll, Zip Zap Orb. This is more of a stun based comp, but I'm looking for a little bit of more damage because we already have a lot of stuns in our fossil. All right, this is more of a snipey snipey build. So from afar, I like this. It's kind of my style. Um, but let's look at every each and every one of them first. There's four of them. So that we can have a clear judgment on which which one we really want. First of Dark Fire, Palm Flame Thrower, Zip Zap Orbs. Okay, this is this is pretty good. I'm also compelled to actually try this one as well. But I would think to try all of them. And this one is a Water Dragon Beam build. Can go very um, far away or can go uh, close combat as well. Interesting. Alright, so that's all the builds. We're going to go ahead and try each and every one of them. Let's change this one to the new Apostle that we got. Let's see. This one, the bonkers. This one is got to be. Oh, this one's good. Because it has two abilities that can jump into something else. And yeah, let's go for a ranked match, baby. Okay, so right off the bat, we want our guardian to be at the front. Has the automatic stun. The mage, not really that into that. But maybe we could go for no rogue. We didn't really have it. I guess the new ones didn't apply yet do that later but yeah let's let's add the mage since we still have it all right so this is the long distance build where we could just attack him from afar okay and oh he also went for the same build interesting okay okay so we could just go ahead and do this everything's gonna be hitting for a truck now Nice, nice. I guess he got hit by the warrior. That's a ton of damage on his side. We're going to be using this uh, Starfall Gambit. I just need him to get closer to my mage, though. Alright. Perfect. That's close enough, baby. Now we just use all of our stuns. Just use everything on him right now. And just auto him right here. Let's go. Ooh, we cancel his rock. Don't forget, guys. If the, if you can catch them mid cast and also um, stun them right before, you can actually cancel some abilities. And it can be heartbreaking because you already spent the mana, but they still don't get to use the skill. Pretty gross, right? All right. Um. I'm gonna push my mage somewhere around the middle so that it can make more stars fall. This doesn't I don't have a card called switcheroo where you can switch places with the mage. Alright, I'm gonna do this now. Okay, I'm gonna root him and stuff. Alright. Perfect. 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 Wait, wait. Wait. Alright, let's just get, keep casting more free abilities, which is always awesome. We may have the same abilities, but we don't have the same apostles. Alright, now you're just trapped, dude. Bonk. So that's 
one build. Let's just play all the builds today, you know? Have some variety on how to play everything. And you get 10 souls as well. So 4 souls equals 2, 1 airdrop point. Alright, now let's try a different build. Skill tree, skill slots. Okay. Let's use this one. It's a bit of a sniper dashy build. This isn't my spells either. What is this? Oh, there it is. Alright. So with this first ability, you want to make sure that there's no apostles around so that you deal the most damage. Because for each apostle that it goes through, it deals less damage. Now in contrast, the Storm Spear, you want it to go through more enemies as possible. Because more enemies it goes through, the more damage it deals. Or more, or more units. So this counts as a unit, so I'm going to make the spear go through here. And it's going to hit him, and it's going to deal so much more damage. Oh, oops. <laughs> it expired just right before it hit. That's crazy. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and discard some cards. Get the Starfall down. Alright. Kapoosh. Skadoosh. Skadoosh. Alright. Another bang. Look at that Storm Spear, dude. Now I'm gonna do this. Make sure I don't hit any. Nice. Alright. Alright, that one. It's a really fun build because there's not much aiming that you gotta do. The only thing you need to do is to aim away or aim through Apostles and uh, enemy units. Dude, I could literally just throw rocks at him three times in a row. Rock. Oh, the boulder. You're about to taste the boulder. And then this guy is just dead if it hits. Blam! Ooh, it's so satisfying. Pretty much the same thing. It's sort of a no-brainer thing to do. Just go to the side here. Make sure it hits a lot of enemies. Oh, it didn't even hit him. So sad. And we get to just CC him from over there, from afar. Okay, make sure this doesn't hit any apostles. Oh, dang, he hid behind. But that's okay. It also summons these demon bunnies that just, <laughs> just tries to attack him. And also taunts the enemies as well. There's so much value to that ability, especially when it hits. So it's so good. Hits or not, it's still good. I love a good storm spear barrage, baby. Now, bang, 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 bang. You just wait till you have some mana, and then you just unload everything all at once. It is so good. Ooh, into the fall up, into the rock. Alright, that hit as well. Blam. <laughs> Let's go. Strike! Alright, now on to the next one. What is this? Alright. Curse of Dark Fire. Starts heat and then explodes, stuns enemies. By the way, let's be annoying. Alright. Let's make sure we get the right apostles this time because we didn't get our, the apostles that we like. I like apostles with a lot of stuns, a lot of bonks, a lot of chunks. So you can go for a rogue play here. Or we could go for another bonker. Oh, let's play the rogue this time. Just to show how to play the rogue. So how you want to play the rogue is that you want to make him go to the back side. But, so this guy has a lot of really weak fossils at the back. Oops, <laughs> I got stunned. Okay, really, really um, squishy fossils at the back. You make the you make the rogue go to the back side so that he can snipe out the squishies. He's going to try to gonna try to assassinate my squishy we won't let him so the palm floor the palm flamethrower zip that build requires you to stick to your opponents quite a lot and by a lot I mean a lot a lot because if you don't stick to them enough it's not gonna work out so well for you all right we're just gonna go ahead and berate the apostles 
with some Starfall Gambit. Since we saved up a lot of... Saved up a lot of mana. Hmm, okay, this is pretty difficult. I'm not gonna lie. Oops. <laughs> That's the wrong way to go, buddy. Alright, just these zappers. Oops. Nope. This gotta be super annoying to him. My mage is tanking the entire the entire town over there. And I'm just here trying to get this guy trying to <laughs> trying to hit face the entire time. Crazy. Alright, stick like glue, ignore him, just go full face, baby. It will double the amount of stars or MMR you you gain or or lose. So don't forget you can still lose from that too. But that's also it's still bad. It, but if, as long as you win, you know, you win. Alright, bomb flamethrower. Let's get a bit closer and then just burn the living heck out of him. Mm. Oops, gonna summon a boulder. Let's charge up our Alright, there it is. The Starfall Gambit, baby. He's gonna be autoing him to death now. I didn't know that's gonna walk into a stun, into another stun, into a bonk, into a palm flamethrower, into a. Fireball. Alright. One more auto should do the trick. Yeah! Let's go! 11 souls! Nice! And don't forget for every NFT apostle or planet that you own, you get more souls. Now, this build is the Water Dragon Beam build. I like this build. All right, let's get the apostles down first. All right, let's see. You, you. You're kind of weird, but uh, you. We can go in there. <laughs> we can go with you. I think this is the play. We really need a good front line. We don't really need much of the stun, so we just need our front line to be stalling, so we can keep shooting him with our water dragon beam. A bloom. I don't oh, that should do sh Yeah, we get it. And every time you use it, you get it back. As long as it hits the enemy avatar, you get it back. See that? It's in the next it's in the next draw. Boom. So you can like combo this with like a stun or something. And then you'll just get it right back. So you just stay away from him. Oh, I missed it, but it's okay. Now we can go forward. And do like a uh, do like a close range combat type of ooh, that type of deal. But I really want, but I really want to keep using. Yep, stunned him. Oh, water dragon beam is that baby? Oh, it doesn't have a dash. But you, let's do that again. Ciao. Let's do that again. And every time it hits, it actually de deals way more damage than the, than the previous. Oh, again, again, again. Kabloom. Trying to dodge it, but he can't. Oh, did it? Oh, no. That's okay. I'll do it myself. Close range. Beam! And die to, die to a bomb. Oh, die to an auto attack. No, it doesn't wanna. Yes! Alright. Started off with a beam. No, he dodged it! Oh, this guy. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, 
I'm gonna be a bit quiet here because I really because this guy's learning. This guy's actually really good. Maybe using a free planet, but he's really good. You know? That's really what you want out of this game. Or maybe I'm just really bad. Who knows? I right, got the stun on him. Up. Jump. Nice too. Knock him up. And then Ziki Zappi. So what's interesting about this build um, is that you can go front line or back line as well. So you can go to the front and try to be really annoying in front of him. Or you can be really annoying from afar. Nice. Alright. Alright, so that's four games. That is 2-0 with all the free uh, planets and apostles that the game has to offer. So yeah, if you have any questions, just go ahead and comment it. Don't forget to like and also repost. Um, yeah, okay, thanks, bye.